morning my beautiful friends and welcome to what I eat in a week. These are by far my most requested and most popular videos but this week I kind of felt like doing something a little bit different. I felt like vlogging, I've been really in the mood to vlog lately and so I thought that instead of just doing like a voiceover and showing you everything that way, I thought that this week I would vlog and we can hang out for the week and I can show you everything that I ate as well. Once you've watched today's video I'd actually love to hear from you about what whether you prefer this type of format of video or whether you prefer like the voiceover format of video. Anyway, <laughs> so right now it is Monday morning and it is 10 a.m. And if you usually watch my YouTube channel, you'll probably know that I don't really sleep in past 7 a.m. usually, but this morning I was apparently really feeling it and I had a really beautiful sleep in and I'm feeling very well rested and very good after it, I must say. Anyway, I'm officially hungry and officially ready to have a bite to eat, but the state of my fridge right now is so sad. There really is not a whole lot going on in here this morning i need to go grocery shopping so badly so normally in these situations i would just have like a smoothie or something because i have stuff in the freezer but i am so off having sweet breakfast at the moment it's so weird um i'm going to do the most basic thing ever and eat some of these rice cakes for breakfast and just have like some vegemite on them or something like that and then of course i'm going to have an iced cacao to go with it. <laughs> Alrighty, so there we have it. A very not so glamorous breakfast is served. If you're after my iced cacao recipe, by the way, it is now up on my website. So it will be linked in the description box below. So today, Hannah and I have actually decided to take a drive up to Brisbane for the sole purpose, basically, of eating. <laughs> um, there's a cafe that Hannah really loves up here that's a vegan cafe that she recommended that I try. And there is an Italian vegan restaurant that we're trying tonight for dinner as well. So I'm really excited. It's going to be a really good day of eating. And let's go get some lunch. Yum. my beautiful friends and welcome to Tuesday. <laughs> I'm really sorry if you can hear the washing machine and the dryer going in the background. It's just apartment living. <laughs> Can't do much about it. But anyway, I just got home from the gym and I'm feeling really good. Before I went to the gym, I just had like almost a liter of water uh, and now I'm keen to have a breakfast. For some reason, I don't get super hungry just after I've worked out. Uh, it's probably going to hit me in like an hour or so, but I know I should uh, eat something. So I think I'm just going to make a smoothie is that Eva that is so naughty you just wait till auntie Kara watches this video and see that you did that anyway yeah I'm gonna make myself a smoothie I still haven't gone grocery shopping I'm gonna get onto that today so then hopefully I'll have more food to play with um but yeah gonna make a smoothie to start the day today you know what I don't think I feel like peanut butter today which is rare Anyway, yeah, this is my fruity smoothie that I'm going to enjoy for breakfast this morning and I will catch up with you when it is next time for me to eat. <laughs> okay, so it is 12.30 and I got around to going grocery shopping and also making myself some lunch. Today's lunch, I feel like you're probably going to see a lot in today's video because it's currently my quick go-to lunch uh, that I make when I'm like in the middle of work or something when I'm at home. So very simply, it is just some cos lettuce that I massaged with some vegan ranch. This vegan ranch recently started getting stocked at Woolies here in Australia. So I have just put some of that in to try. I've actually never Ever tried it before sometimes I will make like a creamy sauce from cashews other times I'll use a vegan mayo I just like to massage some sauce through the greens 
Then on top I just have some fried crispy chickpeas which I just fried in some salt and then I also have some sun-dried cherry tomatoes on top which are my current favorite thing. I thought sun-dried tomatoes were it until I tried sun-dried cherry tomatoes. These are my favorite they taste so good um and yeah i'm loving having them in like salad nourish bowl kind of things at the moment and yeah then i put a little bit of fried garlic on top but that is it sometimes i would put hemp seeds if i had some on hand but that is going to be my very simple lunch today so i have just been doing some editing but it is time for a snack and i have this snack that i am obsessed with at the moment which are these if you've tried them let me know in the comments below they are like bliss balls but in the middle they have choc hazelnut butter like nutella kind of vibe um but obviously completely vegan and these are just the best things ever i'm so obsessed with them you should definitely try them if you haven't already so yeah as we know i love a sweet afternoon snack so i'm just going to snack on one of those bliss balls to tide me over until dinner and then i will catch up with you when it is time for dinner. <laughs> so it is almost 6 p.m. right now and I am currently in the process of making dinner. I am making dinner for both Cara and myself. We have some broccoli that is frying up in a little bit of onion. Over here we have some tempeh as well as some tofu. Tempeh for me, tofu for Cara. I also made this almond butter sauce um, that's kind of like my peanut noodle sauce that I have on my website. It's basically just with the almond butter uh, instead of peanut butter. So I will leave that link below. And then of course we have some rice noodles to go with it. On Tuesday nights, I actually play netball. So I tend to have dinner at random times. We're having dinner a little bit early tonight so I can allow my uh, belly to rest before I run around <laughs> for 40 minutes. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to see how this turns out with the almond butter sauce. And here we have uh, dinner is served. It's actually such a super simple dinner tonight but I think it's going to be super delicious. I put some chives on top of mine because I love a fresh chive uh, and hopefully Kara is going to love it as well good morning and happy wednesday right now it is about 8 a.m and i have just made myself an iced cacao to start the day i should mention as well that most of the time in the mornings i usually have at least half a liter of water before i usually have anything else uh just because i like to get as hydrated as i can in the morning um so i'm feeling good for the rest of the day so yeah i've got my classic iced cacao to start the day uh i don't really know what i feel like having for breakfast yet i'm not super hungry so i just decided to start my day with that and we will see where the rest of uh this food day takes us so today is definitely going to be uh me eating a lot of really easy and quick foods kind of day it is currently 11 a.m i have a busy work day today and by that i mean i have two uh big deadlines that i need to get done by the end of the day so yeah it's gonna be a very very <laughs> easy day of eats today and 11 a.m is a very very late breakfast for me but i got stuck in an editing hole and i could not get out one of my favorite quick and easy breakfasts to make as we know is chickpea scramble i went to put a little bit of smoked paprika in this and um oh we're fogging i went to put a little bit of smoked paprika in this and accidentally tipped in a whole lot so it's very much so gonna taste like that but it's gonna be a really yummy way to uh start my day of eating that's for sure Alrighty, there we have a very simple late breakfast just some turkish bread with the chickpea scramble and some of those ridiculously good sun-dried cherry tomatoes on top okay so it is what is the time it is almost 2 p.m and i'm finally getting around to having lunch and today's lunch is a bowl with a mixture of a bunch of random things to be honest so in here i just have some brown rice i also have some tempeh and as you can see this is like cooked in something and what i did is i used the leftover almond butter um, sauce that i had last night and coated the tempeh in there and then baked it in the oven should be really yummy i have some cucumber and some cos lettuce under there and then on top here i have some vegan 
Tzatziki. Am I pronouncing that right? I feel like I'm not pronouncing that right. But anyway, one of my deadlines for today was to get the recipe for this shot and edited. So I will have this, um, this recipe linked down in the description box below. If you do want to try it at home, it is really, really yummy. Something I did want to note, which I feel goes hand in hand with my lunch today, is the fact that I often will just eat leftovers or I will, you know, use the leftover sauce, for example, and, you know, turn it into something else. And as well as that, I will often just throw random things into a bowl and call it lunch. Veganism is one of those things that it can be as simple or as complicated as you make it. Sometimes I make it really complicated and I spend an hour making my lunch. Sometimes like today, I spend 15 minutes making my lunch. So it really is what you make it. And obviously everyone's lifestyle is entirely different. Everyone's work schedule is entirely different. So, so if you are someone who is short on time, something I would really recommend is to prepare things in advance like sauces and have veggies chopped up and ready to go that way you can just cook up whatever you feel like on the day or the night before you go to work um and yeah you just have a bowl of yum it doesn't have to be a specific meal it can just be foods that you enjoy served together <laughs> hello hello So on Wednesday nights, I have dinner with some of my best friends. It's one of my favorite days of the week because I love the way that food brings people together. And on this night, we had these really yummy, fresh wraps. On mine, I had some avocado as well as cos lettuce, cucumber, tomato, a delicious cauliflower and chickpea patty and coated it in some yummy, herby cashew creamy sauce. That was very descriptive. Okay. Hello. Hello. Happy Thursday. I am just sitting down right now. It is 12 PM and I am sitting down to have some lunch for breakfast this morning. I had some homemade granola. I decided to actually make uh, some more like a new batch of homemade granola this morning. Uh, as you may know, if you watch my YouTube channel quite frequently, I really enjoy making homemade granola and something that I really encourage you to do if it's something that you want to do is honestly just use up whatever nuts and seeds and grains you have in your house uh, use them up and make a granola with it that's what personally I really like to do I have included the recipe for the granola that I made today in the description box below if you do want to try it out but like for example I used almonds and hazelnuts and if you don't have almonds and hazelnuts you don't need to use them you can obviously substitute them with other nuts I also used oats but you could substitute that with quinoa flakes or rice flakes if you'd like to. Granola is one of those things where you can really be creative with it, which is something that I really love. So yeah, the granola that I made this morning was a choc apricot granola. Uh, it's really, really yummy. And I just had it with some coconut yogurt and fresh fruit for breakfast, which was really nice. It's getting warm here on the Gold Coast at the moment. And my breakfasts have been kind of all over the place <laughs> um, because I don't really know what I feel like lately. But yeah, I decided to make some granola this morning. I feel like I'm going to be eating it a lot this week so love that anyway i just decided to make myself some lunch and this lunch is also going to be uh, linked down below the recipe for it it is my smoky black bean chili which is one of my favorite quick easy recipes i really like just serving it with some cos lettuce as well as rice i just had leftover rice from yesterday and then i also put some of that uh, coconut yogurt tzatziki on top uh, sometimes i would just do normal coconut yogurt um, but obviously because i had that on hand thought i may as well use it up and then i put some snow pea sprouts on top as well so on thursday night i was hanging out with my friends and we just decided to get takeaway we're very very lucky here in australia that so many chain restaurants and takeaway places have vegan options. So I decided to get Guzman and I just got myself a burrito with rice and beans and guac and corn and salsa and all the good stuff. And I also had some chippies to go with it and it was really good. Then on Friday morning when I woke up, I got my period and I was not in the mood to talk to the camera all day. So I was just making some food and filming it for you. And as we can see, I decided to have pancakes for breakfast, which was so good. Such an iconic move by me. So these are some gluten-free fluffy pancakes. The recipe will be on my website. They're super simple. The secret ingredient is coconut yogurt. And I just drizzled some choc hazelnut butter on top which is like a vegan Nutella 
Vegan Nutella is literally my weakness, my favorite flavor in the world. Once it hit 11.30, I was starting to feel quite hungry again, so I decided to roast some sweet potatoes, which really fill me up. That's what I love so much about sweet potatoes. They taste so good, and they make me feel so good, and they make me feel so full and nourished. Then in a bowl, I put some cos lettuce, and I put my roasted sweet potatoes in as well. Then I also put some crispy chickpeas, which I love so much, followed by this herby cashew creamy sauce thing and some snow pea sprouts and that was my lunch for the day then at 2 p.m i once again was hungry and so i decided to make myself an iced cacao and mangoes are in season and i'm so happy about it so i decided to have a mango with my iced cacao which was the most iconic afternoon sweet snack that i have ever put on this youtube channel in my opinion on Friday night, I was really in the mood for some pasta. I love just a simple tomato pasta, and that's exactly what this was, just made with a little bit of chili, a little bit of basil, some fresh tomatoes, as well as some sun-dried tomatoes. It was the perfect way to end my Friday. Good morning and welcome to Saturday. I'm feeling so much better today after just fully allowing myself and my body to rest yesterday. Anyway, I was up and about pretty early this morning and at 7 a.m. I had a mango as a snack. It is mango season officially here uh, and I am loving it so much. Mangoes are one of my favorite fruits in the world. And when I was at the farmer's markets, I ended up having an iced cacao, iced chocolate drink, of course, very on brand. Even when I'm not making them at home, I'm going out and having them elsewhere. And yeah, I just got home and I bought a fresh loaf of bread when I was at the farmer's markets. And when I get a fresh loaf of bread, I have like this tradition of always having some with vegan butter and Vegemite on it because Vegemite is one of my favorite things in the world. I feel like that's a pretty unpopular opinion. <laughs> but Vegemite is just so good and so I always like to have um, yeah a piece of really fresh bread like really crispy the edge it's like oh so good anyway uh, that's what I like to have when I get a fresh loaf of bread so that's what I've eaten so far today today I'm honestly just gonna have a chill day I want to do some gardening I want to go get some more herbs and plant them um, in just the planters on my balcony do a little bit of cleaning do a little bit of work pretty chill day and we'll just see where the day takes us food wise so as we know i love these at the moment these bliss balls but it seems that everyone else on the gold coast loves them as well because they have been sold out for the greater part of this week however i managed to get my hands on some today <laughs> and so i'm going to have a snack one of these as a snack whilst i decide what the heck i want to make for lunch today i feel like having a really really lazy lunch i'm not really in the mood to make something super out there i've just been doing some gardening and planting some more herbs i am trying to figure out the best way to put a herb garden on my balcony at the moment anyway that's pretty irrelevant um but yeah i'm gonna snack on this and then i will let you know when i figure out what the heck i am going to have for lunch today look at this ridiculously delicious bliss ball insane Okay, so I actually ended up getting called into work. By that, I mean I do social media for a uh, vegan restaurant here on the Gold Coast and they gave me a ring because they needed me to come in and take some photos this afternoon. So I'm just heading off there now. It is 2 p.m. right now and I decided just to have a little bit of a snack. I'm not super hungry. I don't know how long I'm going to be there for though. So I just decided to make some avo on toast. So yeah, I just have a piece of that sourdough I got this morning with half an avocado, some lemon salt and pepper super easy such a quick easy delicious nutritious snack we love to see it so on saturday night i went to my friend's house for dinner and board games and we decided to get takeaway and honestly all i wanted was some hot chips and some broccolini so i decided to eat hot chips and broccolini while we played settlers of Catan, iconic board game <laughs> happy sunday this morning it's a pretty slow start to the day which is what i love i think it's what 8 30 right now yeah 
Oh no, it's like almost 9. Oh, it's almost 9am and we're having breakfast. This morning I decided to make acai bowls for myself and Kara. We love an acai bowl moment and it's been a while since we had a homemade one. So, so in a blender I just combined some acai with banana, raspberries, orange juice, protein powder and a little bit of peanut butter. And then on top we have some of that homemade chocolate granola I made earlier in the week. As well as some fresh mango, fresh strawberries and more peanut butter this is going to be a very delicious and nourishing start to the day i am having a couple of pieces of that really yummy sourdough bread with some avocado cherry tomatoes sun-dried cherry tomatoes i should say some lemon salt and pepper on there and then i also have some crispy kale and i'm thought there was going to be a whole lot more than this it's like a classic thing with like kale and spinach and greens in general hey where it, it's like where it's like you put so many in the pan and you end up with a tiny amount. But yeah, this is going to be my lunch today and I'm very excited to dig in. Okay, so it is 7pm and I'm just sitting down to have my dinner. I'm really excited for this tonight actually. I have made a couple of tacos and it's kind of shocking that it took me a whole week uh, to make some tacos seeing as tacos are very on brand for me anyway we have two tortillas and on here i have some cos lettuce as well as charred corn and then these patties that are the filling are these cauliflower patties that i got from the supermarket and then on top of that i have some natural coconut yogurt spring onion and some pea sprouts as well with tacos sometimes i will do chickpeas or beans or tempeh or anything like that i just had these patties in the fridge and i really liked them and it was just a super quick uh, and easy dinner to whip up to be honest and then with it i also have a glass of raspberry lemon com butcher love how i said com butcher <laughs> <laughs> that was so silly. It is a Sunday night and my neighbors appear to be having a party and I don't think that they realize that my bedtime is at 8.30 p.m. Anyway, with that being said, I've just finished my dinner, made myself an ice cacao. I just figured that the best way to end what I eat in a week is with an ice cacao because it's just so ridiculously on brand for me. So that is what I'm doing tonight. Ice cacao is my dessert and ice cacao is going to wrap up what I eat in a week. I really hope you enjoyed today's video and the reason why I really wanted to do this like chill vlog style video of what I eat in a week is because honestly all of my weeks look entirely different in terms of the way that I eat. I always eat intuitively. I eat food to nourish my body but also nourish my mind and my soul and make my taste buds happy as silly as that may sound. That is uh, yeah just the way that I like to eat for both pleasure and for nourishment which are both two very important things in my opinion and so yeah i hope this shows you that you know some weeks like in previous what i eat in a week videos i have had heaps of time and i have made really awesome vegan food and spent a lot of time in the kitchen and you know made cookies and made banana bread and uh made different meals every single day my next recipe video that i'm gonna make is going to be a week of vegan lunches i haven't done one in a while and i know you really like them so i'm currently working on some recipes for a week of vegan lunches but if you're sitting here watching the end of this video and thinking I need more from you hun and I want to see some more recipe content I'm going to put a couple of videos on the screen that I think that you will love as always a big thank you for being here for supporting me and for supporting my youtube channel I appreciate it and you so much I hope you have a really beautiful day and I will see you very soon for another video bye <laughs>